Hey friends, it's your Boomer Consumer, and this video is all about the Weem Mini Music Streamer. Uh, and as a disclaimer, I paid for this with my own funds. I was reviewed the video prior to posting all opinions of my own. Got that out of the way. Why did I buy this music streamer? By the way, I had a comment that said that I got halfway through a review of a, a music streamer and didn't tell people what it was. <laughs> well, this device allows you to connect to music streaming services such as Apple Music, Spotify, Tidal, that type of thing, and then play it through your hi-fi system. That's kind of what it's designed to do. Now that I explained to you what it is, why did I buy this? Well, I use an Airport Express, pretty much limited just to streaming Apple Music through that. And it's, and it's great for that purpose. It puts out CD quality, which is good enough for me. But I'm expanding the streaming services. I'm adding, I've added a, a Amazon Music HD, and I'm also going to be subscribing to Koba. So I want to cover all those services. I do have an account with Spotify as well. So I want to have more services, more flexibility. And these things have been so widely reviewed and there must be something to it, right? So we're going to check it out. Currently on sale for $89. There's a $5 coupon uh, off uh, as the date of this recording. But yeah, it's listed for $89 as of today. Let's take a look at the box here. And it says it works with Apple AirPlay, Spotify, works with Alexa. Okay. Turn any audio gear smart. On the side here, media sources, Spotify, Deezer, Tidal, Cobuzz, uh, Sound Machine, Amazon Music, TuneIn, Napster, iHeartRadio, dot, dot, dot. Means probably there's a little bit more. Uh, going to this side, high-res audio, support up to 24-bit, 192 kilohertz with 106 dB, Signal noise ratio, all content in one app. Oh, I like that. Use your phone to discover and control all popular media sources in a single free app. Multi-room and multi-channel playback, not important to me. I don't really do that, but that could be important to some people. Works with Amazon Alexa and Apple Siri. Pretty much that's all on, what's on the box. Let's open it up. Let's see if we can get this out of here. It's in there pretty tight. Ooh. There we go. Here's what we get in the box. We mini user guide turn any audio gear smart. And we'll look at that after a bit. And then here is the Weem Mini. Boy, that is small. That is really small. Let me go ahead and peel this plastic off of here. Wait a second. Ah, there we go. <laughs> wow, that is really small. About the size of a hockey puck. Maybe around that size, yeah. You have a uh, plus and minus button. I'm assuming that is to control volume up and down. These are touch sensitive, by the way. And that would be your play pause button. Let's take a look at the ports on here. Looks like you get a optical audio out spitif. USB type C. There's an auxiliary output. That's what you would connect uh, a 3.5 millimeter uh, output to uh, a, a dual, like a dual RCA cable, plug it into your integrated receiver or amplifier, rather, a receiver, that kind of thing. And then you have an auxiliary in. And that's it. It's very, very light. Maybe only weighs a couple ounces. So that is the Wii Mini. All right. Let's see, what else we get in here? All right, power plug. Get it out, it's really in there good and tight. Really in there tight. All right, come on. Out you go. Oh. Little five volt to USB power supply for that. Mm -hmm. So we'll set that off to the side. We'll set the Wii Mini off to the side. Anything else in this box? Well, this comes out. And we have a box of accessories. Go ahead and open that up. No surprise. Oh, we get several cables. Check that out. Well, here's a 3.5 millimeter to 3.5 millimeter cable. That's nice. 
And then this is the cable I was talking about earlier. You have to, uh, the uh, RCA jacks on one end and then 3.5 millimeter on the other. Ah, all right. One Toslink cable, which I'm going to use this with my Skit Modi 3 DAC as an external DAC. That's the configuration I'll use. From the uh, Wii Mini to the Skit Modi 3. I know it's not Skit. I, you know the name of that company. And then into the, uh, the DAC and then out of the DAC into my NAD uh, receiver or uh, integrated amp or possibly a, um, a, a tube-based uh, amplifier, headphone amplifier as well. So you get that, and then finally, you get the power supply. And that is everything that comes in the box. Now we're going to go through the setup, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I've connected the Weem Mini to power. I'm starting the setup process. Uh, <laughs> didn't hit the record button, uh, but all, all, the only part we're through so far is just connecting to Wi-Fi. So now it is just downloading updates to the Wii Mini anyway, so we're not really that far into it. So we'll be back once it's done updating. Okay, so all I've done so far is connect the Wii to the network. I found it very, very quickly, and then it immediately ran an update. It didn't take but just a couple minutes. And now we have a... Um, a little solid white light right here tells us apparently that ah, I dropped it. Uh, it's connected to the network. And this is the first screen that pops up in the software. It asks you to name it. You, you know, it's got different locations. I'm just going to stick with the default. There we go. Uh, I don't think I'm going to. Should I sign into Amazon or not? All right, I'll do that. I'll go ahead and sign into that. So we'll be right back. All right. We're going to allow Lex on there. Okay, English. Yes, yeah, the United States. And next, uh, we'll skip calibration for right now. Uh, okay. Auto, auto measurement for audio delay. We're going to skip calibration. Okay, we Mini is up to date. Is that okay? Bit perfect audio playback. And let's take a look here. No music selected. That's fine. We're going to actually remove the... Uh, a Relic S10, which is another streamer that I, I reviewed. I'm just having uh, some spotty Wi-Fi connectivity. By the way, there is no Ethernet on this. It is totally, totally Wi-Fi. All right, so no music is selected. Let's go through, but it sure does look like the same app that they use for the Relic. A four stream app, it looks a lot like that. Let's take a look at the browse menu. My music, recently added home music server, music services, Amazon Music. There we go. Got to oh, got, got allow some, to sign into the speaker. But once again, I would have thought it would have allowed me since I used Alexa. Okay. Oh, all right. So you can see some of the music I have on Amazon right here. Your playlists. Let's get back out of there. Recommended my music. I have some albums on here. There they all are. Very nice. All within that app. Okay. Tracks, so forth. Get back out of there. Go back to browse. And I still have to set up my Spotify account. Of course, tune in. I always allow using the app. You get different radio stations. Pretty cool. Actually, I think this works better than the Forest Stream app. All right, we'll get out of there. Uh, go to device. And I can go into some settings here. Let's take a look here. I can rename it. Info, you set alarm clock. Precinct content, Wi-Fi status. 
Let's look at that. Very good. Okay. Five gigahertz. And see, the Arillic only did 2.4. So shouldn't have as much problem. Ah, EQ settings. And you got all these different settings on here, which is really nice. Flat acoustic, bass booster, classical. Nice. Very good. I use the word nice a lot, don't I? Probably too much in my videos. Vocal booster. Whether I'll use those or not, because, again, I'm listening to headphones, so I probably won't use EQ. I want to hear the headphones on their own merit. There we go. Tap out of there. Uh, search. It's a beta. Find your favorite music. Hmm. Well, let's see. I will put in something, and I will type in... Um, Bob. There we go. Bob Marley. Bob Dylan. Come on, I'll just tap on Dylan. And I'm getting some Bob Dylan. I like this. This is all right. I like this. Okay. Uh, let's go to the uh, settings button on here. Uh, your version. Frequently asked questions, feedback, user manual right there. Shop, radar app. Well, so far, I say I'm, I'm kind of impressed. Go back to the device. Uh, let's tap this. What have we got there? No music selected. Okay. Any other settings that I'm missing on here? Okay, go back to settings. Let's tap on that. No music selected. Okay. Let's go back to settings. No, nope, not there. Okay, go back to the device. Ah, there we go. Rename, info, alarm clock, preset content, sound, e audio settings. We can cover that. Fixed volume output. So basically I can just have a, a, one signal, you know, one level of signal going through or variable. So you're kind of using it as a quasi preamp. Auxiliary out level. Audio output, and you see right there by default, it says SP, uh, SPDIF. And then SPDIF output resolution is right there, sample rates. Well, well we're going to set to 24-bit, 192 kilohertz. There we go. And done. Boom. Okay. Uh, not all... <laughs> music ser services, that's the thing. Um, I'm not that big into, you know, really high-res music. CD quality is good enough for me. Uh, but you can do some high-res music with it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stop the video at this point. I'm going to connect this to my DAC. And I'm going to put on a head pair of headphones. And I like the Hi-Fi Man Edition XS headphones. I love those headphones. And, and just kind of tell you what I think of this sound and maybe, uh, maybe talk a little bit about the specs before we do that. So I'll be right back. All right, I've got it, uh, the uh, Wim Mini connected to my uh, DAC, and that's being fed into the NADC 316BV2. And I am control controlling everything through the free uh, Wim Home application. So very, very impressed so far now I'm like I said, I'm using Amazon Music right now. It's all hooked up. I'm also listening to it through the uh, Hi-Fi Man Edition XS speakers. Just a little bit about some of the specs on here. Supports AirPlay 2. It has gapless playback. It supports Tidal Connect. Spotify Connect. It has a Burr Brown DAC, 24192 DAC. And by the way, those are excellent sounding little DACs. I don't have a problem with them. Uh, supports UPnP, DLNA support, high res music, 24-bit, uh, 192 kilohertz, and I believe it now supports the Amazon Ultra HD. Does not support the Tidal Masters, but you can get the um, ultra high res through uh, Tidal, I believe. Multi room streaming again, Siri and X, uh, Alexa on here. No remote control, but that's okay. Use your phone as a remote control, which is good enough for me. Very small, very lightweight. 
Those are the basic specs of the WIM Mini stream music streamer. Okay, next I'm going to try it as an AirPlay 2 device. So let's go in here. I'm going to go to my music. Boom. And I'm going to go into Apple Music. Let's go ahead and let's see if this shows up right there. Okay, come on, tap it. it. Says it's connected. Oh, works like a champ. Works like a champ. Nice steady Wi-Fi connection, no dropouts, none of that. Let's just go ahead and fast forward another tune. Instantaneous. Wow, I'm color me impressed. <laughs> For you know, 90 bucks, you can't go wrong with this thing. Uh, yeah, there's more expensive streamers on there and out there. I know that but you know what for my purposes This is going to do great. And I think this would uh, there's no reason to spend a whole lot more money on a, on a streamer unless you're looking You know at maybe the blue sound node 2i something like that But for most people you're going to get high quality sound out of this thing and is relatively inexpensive and Man, I, the, the the app is just so much better than the uh, one that came with the Aurelic. The setup was almost instantaneous. The update didn't take very long. Okay, maybe I'm raving about this thing so far, but I like it. I think it's, uh, for for the price, I don't think you can go wrong. All, all this music streaming at your fingertip, use your phone as a control. And uh, well, I took a little break there. I listened to some different tracks. And it sounds really, really good. So I'm going to just put it this way. Uh, if you're in the market for a streamer, before you go shelling out a whole bunch of money, check this out. If you don't like it, return it, right? Uh, more information, I got my, of course, the Amazon affiliate link down below. I know some of you don't like affiliate links, but it helps support the channel. If you buy something using my affiliate link, then, you know, I get a few few cents and it helps the channel it doesn't cost you a penny and if you buy one something i recommend and you don't like it return it <laughs> that's that simple you know so that's it uh that's my quick overview of the weem mini streamer thanks so much for watching i'll see you in the next video